Hello everyone and happy Friday. Before we share my analysis from these last few days, please remember that neither I nor the SIM2 team from Crypto Briefing are licensed financial advisors. What we provide is not a personalized investment advice. It is merely our opinions based on our various research and diligence. As always, do your own research before making any decisions about buying or selling crypto. Okay, so let's have a look at the key technicals for Bitcoin. Uh, so uh, 30,000 would be the key downside level if we started to break down uh, the um, important uh, support areas like 37,000 and uh, 34,000. That would probably be the first key target. Uh, the monthly pivot point uh, comes in at 38,500. And we're kind of testing around there now. So keep your eye on that monthly pivot point. The weekly pivot point, 38,100. We've bounced from there a number of times and we currently can't stay in it. So there's just a small minor uh, bias uh, for the upside while we're trading above there, but not uh, but not a great one. And I guess um, upside targets, if this uh, recovery uh, were to continue, uh, Bitcoin would have to get above 39.6 and then take another look at 42,000. But overall, if we start to see daily price closes below 35.8, then I think that would be a very, very uh, negative sign uh, for the market. And we could probably be looking at uh, 30,000 or something like that pretty quickly. Okay, so let's have a look at the charts here. And similar to the crypto total market cap chart, uh, you can see that the market is still waiting to see if that triple bottom is going to hold up. And we're still uh, trading inside this price channel here. Uh, uh, this price channel is pretty bearish, but uh, we still don't know if the market's going to test as close as it can to that and then move towards the top and maybe crash to the bottom. So, you know, the scenarios are, are not entirely clear until we get underneath there. But if we were to bounce from there, there's definitely a setup that uh, that exists on the charts uh, where Bitcoin moves towards 51,000 and it just remains inside this channel, maybe for um, uh, for the summer uh, before maybe eventually breaking to the downside. So it, it'll be interesting over the next few days. Maybe the smart money was just uh, placing the buy orders around uh, this trend line or just before, but uh, we've got very close to it anyway. So I think this is where all the actions are going to be over the next few weeks and and you can see what I'm looking at here. If we were to break down underneath this channel, um, looking at the size of it, uh, you know, uh, you could easily see a move towards uh, the summer lows from last year. And if you look at the uh, the breakout point for Bitcoin, uh, uh, 20,000, you know, the size of this and this bearish pattern and everything like that, it does look pretty bearish. But uh, I guess the flip side of that is this channel here. Maybe the market's not ready yet. Uh, and maybe we'll move back up to this uh, channel. If we if we did get above there, things would look very interesting. And then uh, Bitcoin would probably be a huge sell if it ever got anywhere near 63,000. But at the moment, um, everything's still going along uh, nicely inside that channel. And a slightly less bearish view uh, would maybe be um, a move underneath the channel uh, next week and then uh, move towards uh, the summer lows, uh, make a new low, uh, test towards 30K, and then recover just basically back towards that channel and you can see there very clear head and shoulders pattern forming and something else um that we need to look at i guess is um if we did have a breakout here uh we need to to probably look uh towards maybe uh 27,000 if we did break uh uh 30,000 uh that would also be an area to watch but all uh, all the action i wanted to show you inside this slide so if you look at this orange line here uh, you can see why 42,000 is very important. It is pretty much a bull or bear uh, marker. And all the time we've had daily uh, price closes above there or tests, it's been a huge bounce spot or a or a drop off spot for the market. And uh, that was the same last year. So uh, the fact we haven't been able to have a price, a daily price close above there um, over the last few weeks has been pretty bearish. So until we start to get above there, there's not a lot of chance of going there. And obviously the risks are uh, for a break underneath uh, this trend line. And then um, if we were to take out, uh, get underneath the box, then the downside looks to probably open up. So overall, uh, you know what to expect if you get underneath uh, 37.1, probably at least a drop uh, towards 34, 35,000. And, and if we don't get underneath there, then we're probably going to, uh, going to stage a move back towards 42,000, something like that. So, uh, so overall, uh, the triple bottom is still valid on the charts. I think uh, many scenarios still exist uh, why Bitcoin trades inside this rising price channel that I've showed you. 
Uh, things will get significantly more interesting if the triple bottom is negated and broken, and even then, uh, twenty-seven or even twenty thousand then uh, becomes possible. Especially if we bear in mind the U.S. dollar and the Nasdaq charts at the same time. Um, uh, but at the moment, uh, the channel between uh, 37,000 and 51 is still tradable. And if it continues to bounce from there and starts to hold above 42,000, maybe Bitcoin is going to take a run at 51,000, uh, uh, something like that. OK, let's have a look at Ethereum. It's pretty much the same setup for Ethereum as well. It's trading inside this price channel. Um, I have been warning uh, this year that if Bitcoin weren't able to get above 3,500, 3,600, um, then uh, that could be a good target and maybe a good place to sell. Uh, but uh, but also uh, the chart setup still there where you've got the lower highs and there's still a case where we could go towards 4,000 on Ethereum. So it's by no means clear. Um, this um, initial high and rejection point here, uh, we've still got this triple bottom on the chart, like I say. So it's not totally bearish for Ethereum, but the worry is, is that this turns uh, this uh, this triple bottom pattern so uh, we could probably reverse to maybe three four or three five if this uh, plays out if this isn't broken and we uh, and we are at a turning point but the worry is is that if the market falls off next week uh, that then the setup's also there for a big head and shoulders pattern so maybe we move down to maybe two two uh move back up to three four and then uh this blows uh completely and then that would uh, put Ethereum in a very bad spot. But we still have this set up with a triple bottom, just like Bitcoin. So I think next week the market's going to tell us a lot about what's going to happen. OK, so overall, Ethereum is likely to remain under pressure below 3,600. Uh, watch out for the two scenarios uh, that I've just outlined. Um, a return and, and, and a break of the summer low could be on the cards if 2,800 were to break convincingly. Maybe you look at 2,200 very quickly. Alternatively, a triple bottom is still in play and, and it's valid at the moment. And we could see a move back to maybe three, five or three thousand six hundred, something like that. And thank you. I hope you found my thoughts helpful. If you'd like more, please click the subscribe button for Pro BTC Trader and join me every week on Wednesdays for our live trading war room and daily email updates.